Hey everybody, it's Phantom321 here bringing you some more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 Wi-Fi battles. This is another new match I got, and as you can see from the video length, this is actually a pretty short match. The match was completed in under 20 moves, so yeah, if you guys are getting bored of NU, don't worry. The next match I'm gonna bring is probably gonna be a UU match. So yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and begin the match, and just let you enjoy the match. So right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and start off by sending out my Armaldo, and he's going to go ahead and start off by sending out his Bronzor. Uh, this Bronzor kind of caught me off guard because I don't really see too many Bronzors in NU. I mean, this is the first Bronzor I've ever battled, but yeah, for this first move, I'm just going to go ahead and start off by sending out my Stealth, or setting, uh, sending out my Stealth Rock, my bad. And he's just going to go ahead and go straight up for the Toxic and just poison my Armaldo, which kind of sucks, but yeah, what can you do? For his next move, I'm just going to go for the Knockoff. I really like Knockoff on Armaldo because it's really useful. Uh, the reason I went for it was because I wanted to get rid of the Eviolite, so that will make the, uh, this Bronzor really, or actually a little bit easier to take down, but yeah. First and next move, he's he went for the Stealth Rocks, and that's pretty typical, I guess. But for his next move, I'm going to go ahead and switch out into my Embor, and because I know Embor can live a Psychic from this Bronzor, because it doesn't have the best special attack, and as you can see, Psychic did a pathetic amount of damage to my Embor, so that's actually really good. For his next move, I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz, and thanks to Armolo's knockoff, that I got, and I got rid of the Eviolite, that's easily going to be able to take down his Bronzor, and that's going to be the end of his Bronzor, so yeah. The Recoil, or I did get a lot of Recoil, for my flare blitz so that's kind of bad but yeah he's gonna go ahead and switch out into his rotom and he went for the volt switch so now i know that this rotom is choice scarf because it managed to outspeed my choice scarfed embor so yeah that kind of sucks because my embor died really early on in the game that was my only choice scarf pokemon that i have on this team but yeah he's gonna go ahead and volt switch out into his Fero, and i'm gonna go ahead and just switch out into my tauros because tauros can easily take this Fero out He's gonna go ahead and, or he's not even gonna switch, I'm just gonna go straight up for the rock slide, and I'm wondering at this point if this guy is new to competitive uh, Wi-Fi battling, because he probably should have switched out. But yeah, he's gonna go ahead and switch out into his Viper. I'm not sure why, because I do have Earthquake, so that's kind of a mistake for him. I'm guessing he's new to this playlist, or my bad, I guess he's new to competitive Wi-Fi battling. But yeah, for his next move, he's just going to go ahead and go out into his Rotom, and the Stealth Rocks are going to heavily cripple his Rotom. He's just going to go for the Trick, and he's going to go ahead and give me the Choice Scarf, and he's going to obtain the Life Orb. That's not that bad, because now I can um, pretty much just be the rest of his team, so that's kind of a mistake for him, I guess. He, I'm just going to go for the Rock Climb, and I missed, and now I'm just going to go for another Rock Climb, and that's easily going to be able to take down his Rotom. So I guess it was kind of useful that he did give me the Choice Scarf, because I can outspeed anything on his team. But it didn't actually matter, actually, now that I think about it, because Taurus can outspeed almost his entire team. But yeah, right here I was getting a little bit, well, <laughs> I didn't want the match to end too early. So I just went down to Porygon. This is my first time actually using Porygon, I'm just testing what this thing can actually do to Hypno, because Hypno is really special defensive or it's really bulky so yeah first move for <laughs> first move he's just gonna go for the se seismic toss and I'm just gonna go for the tri attack I'm wondering how much damage it does and it doesn't end up doing much damage to his hypno which kind of sucks but I'm just gonna decide to stay and kind of troll this hypno a little bit I just wanted uh, Porygon to get some more action but yeah first next move I'm just gonna spam another tri attack and that's not gonna or that did a decent amount of damage but yeah, for his next move, he's just gonna go ahead and go for the wish. So now I know for his next move, he's gonna go for the protect. That's really annoying. I just went for the recover just to go ahead and play it safe and get all of my HP back. So that's actually really good for me. And he's just gonna get the leftovers recovery. I really want to get rid of those leftovers because the, that thing can be really annoying because he is he does have wish and protect. So yeah, he went for the seismic toss and <laughs> the pair hacks kicked in and I couldn't attack. So that kind of sucks because well, I wanted Porygon to kill this hypno because that would have been pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch out into my Armoldo because I really want to go ahead and use knockoff on this thing just so I can get rid of the leftovers because I don't want this thing to recover too much health uh, because it already has the wish to protect. So yeah, for this next move, I'm just going to go, I believe I end up going for the knockoff. Uh, he's gonna go for the protect. Yep, he's gonna go for the protect just to kind of stall me a little bit with the poison And I went for the knockoff. So yeah, now he knows what I'm trying to do on this hypno So for this next move, he's gonna go ahead and I believe he's gonna go ahead and decide to stay in Yeah, he's gonna go for a seismic toss and I know I can easily live it because it's only gonna do 100 HP Or it's only gonna 
take away 100 HP, but yeah, I'm just gonna go for the knockoff, and I managed to take down his leftover, so that's really good, because now, the only way this Hypno can recover itself is by using the Wish Protect combo, which is still kind of good, even though I got rid of the leftovers, but yeah, for his next move, he's just gonna go ahead and spam the Protect, and I'm just kind of sacrificing my Armaldo at this point, I'm trying to get a safe switch on, on into my next Pokemon, which is gonna go ahead and be my Absol, but yeah, the poison's really racking up on me, and in fact, they actually managed to kill me this turn, so that kind of sucks, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go out into my Absol because Absol can pretty much destroy the rest of his team. He's just gonna go ahead and switch out because he did not want to lose his Hypno at this point, so he's just gonna go ahead and go out into his Tentacool. First next move, I just went straight up for the Night Slash, I didn't bother going for the Sword Stance, and I'm hoping I can take down this Tentacool, and I do manage to take it out because I got a lucky critical hit, so I guess that actually mattered. But yeah, now he's down to his final Pokemon, which is gonna go ahead and be his Hypno. His Hypno can't really do much to my Absol, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a Night Slash, and that's easily going to be able to take down his Hypno, and that's, that was his final Pokemon, and that was the end of the game, so I guess if you liked the video, please rate the video, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, well, have a nice day.